video. Uh, first thing I just want to say is that we've been lied to. We've been lied to. We have been lied to. The American people have been lied to, and especially African Americans have been lied to. Um, <clears throat> the Democrats are not for us. We, uh, black people vote 96% de Democrat. That is ridiculous. No group in ever in history has voted like that. That is just ridiculous. Um, and those are these are the people that's doing the most harm to the black community. Uh, the Democrats are, are the party that founded the KKK. The Democrats are the party of the welfare system, which which hurt black people, <laughs> which hurt everybody. But it, it really destroyed the black community. They're the ones that put drugs in the hood. Um, they're the ones that Joe Biden was the one that that did the um, the crime bill. Like it's it, it, the Democrats have never been for the people. They have never been for the people. And uh, we've been lied to because the Democrats have their hand in a lot of stuff that affects our culture, like the public school systems. Um, they got their hand in Hollywood and they own a lot of the mass media uh, platforms. And so it's really hard. It, it'd be hard to even think another way if you've never been if, if you've never been shown another way. And I think it's particularly interesting because a lot of black people are supposed to be Christians, but you're voting for the anti-God party. You're voting for abortion and you're voting for, you know, you're you believe in racism and you believe that the you know white people hate you and you hate black people and you and you you know you basically you're you're supporting criminals and it, it just doesn't make any sense. And if you're a Christian, naturally if you're a real Christian, you're supposed to be conservative. You're supposed to have, you know, more godlike values. And that's supposed to reflect in your voting, but we, our people have just been so demoralized, and I see that now because, um, you know, I had I had to walk away and really look at our culture because our culture is is destructive. The African American culture is completely destructive, and they tell you that it's because of slavery, which just isn't true. That you know they got a thing called post traumatic slave disorder. That's it's just made up. It's just made up. It's just. It's just a lie to coddle black people and to say, oh, you're a victim. It's okay if you go kill somebody. You're a victim. It's okay if you don't go to work. You're a victim. You're a victim, which is just a lie. And they're pushing this victim, this victim politics along with this identity politics. And it's just, it's just ridiculous. And it's so destructive to the American culture. And um, my journey uh, particularly started when I moved in with my girlfriend and she was staying with me for a couple of months. And then we ended up move, both moving back into her apartment. And she had like a dorm style apartment and it was like two rooms connected by a bathroom. And they told her in the lease that it would be, if they were to put somebody in the other room, it'd be somebody of the same sex. So when we come back from my house, we moved back in. And the first thing we noticed that, okay, somebody in the other room because you know they've been using the bathroom and we can hear somebody over there. And when we get in, we see that whoever this person is, look like they hadn't flushed the toilet in months. Uh, it was hair fall, hair had fallen out, falling out in the sink and in the tub and in the toilet and stuff. And we was hearing, you know, we were assuming that it was a girl over there, but we we would only hear a boy. We would hear a deep voice through the wall. So we're like, okay, well she has a she has a boyfriend over a lot. You know, I guess it's not a problem. So we realized that the girl that's over there is a man with breasts. So at this point, you know, she she's she's super uncomfortable super uncomfortable because i'm not gonna always be there so she writes an email to her landlord and the landlord called her and said yeah we can't discriminate against this person we can't move them out the room because they identify as a girl or as a woman so instead they moved us out of the room that we were there first and moved us down the hall to a smaller room for the same amount of rent so that's when we really started to question a lot of stuff like what is what is going on? Why is something like this happening? Why is this allowed to happen? So we started looking into the wormhole of like conservative speakers and we came across Matt Walsh first and he was really talking about it a lot. And we're just like, wow, this man is talking about exactly what's going on. This is exactly what's going on. So why is this happening? And then you come to realize like, wow, these so-called Democrats is kind of crazy. Like these policies are literally extreme. So we um we just got deeper down the wormhole. We came across Ben Shapiro. We seen uh, videos of Ben Shapiro owning people all the time, but we didn't know who Ben Shapiro was. So now we got more context. Like, oh, this this is why he owned people because he he got facts, he got logic, he got some type of common sense. And these people that he talking to don't. 
and you know you come to realize the the true origin of the uh the, the democratic party the party of the kkk the party of slaves the party of control and power um the communist party and the democrats have been um the democrats have been infiltrated by the communists and that's why they funded movements like the black lives matter um and the the, the women's march matter you know all this the feminism and the misogyny and the and the abortion and the black power all that stuff that's just all communist thinking because it's anti-america anti-man anti-god and if you're a christian you shouldn't stand for that you just simply shouldn't stand for that because it's it's contradictory to your belief if you're a true Christian or if you're, you know, of any, any, you know, faith that it's just anti-God. So it's, it's really interesting to see that, that our people have just, just basically just been fooled. They've been fooled in mass and it's ridiculous to see this happening. And I just, I just don't, I don't get it. I just don't get it. So I had to walk away from the Democratic Party as I came to uh, know the truth. And, you know, I, I truly accepted Jesus Christ into my heart and he allowed me to see that, you know, we've been lied to. Um, African-Americans have been lied to. You know, they that first it came, it, first it was, oh, we were kings in Africa. Then they came and stole us. They came and, you know, took our people and, and did this to our people and stuff. And that's just a lie. It's just a lie. We, we got, we were slaves in Africa. And then uh, ARAS came and sold us to the four corners of the earth and the Europeans bought us. That's that's simply what it was. And that, that that's just lie number one. And then the next lie is like, oh, because you were slaves and because the white man is bad, you know, you can't be racist. So you can pretty, it's pretty much free game on white people. You can beat them up, call them whatever, you know, bully them, all type of stuff because you can't be racist, you're a victim. And I just did not, I don't identify with that victim mindset. Like I didn't understand that the man was holding me back considering I lived around black people. And the person that was most likely to do something to me was was black. Like 14% of the population is committing 50% of the murders. It has nothing to do with slavery. It's it's just, it's ridiculous. And these people, it got my people under this, this psychosis. And it's, it's, it's amazing that that these people are just they're, they're drinking the kool-aid and then they look at they look at a, a black conservative as if we're crazy and they'll call you an uncle tom and all that stuff and this it's it just doesn't make any sense it's just literal projection from the left and, and like when you get into politics and a lot of these people talk in politics and they not even in the politics that's they just saying what they've been told you just you just don't like donald trump you just think any conservative is right any republican is racist off that you just think that anybody that's white is racist that's, that, it's just not true it's just not true and our people got to stop believing in it so i decided to walk away and you know i had to i had to just you know change my thinking and change my heart because this we, we we can't we can't be voted democrat the democrats are literally communists at this point the reason why people flee their countries and come to america is because they're fleeing from most of these communist countries where they have dictators and kings and stuff like this is a democracy where we can vote for the people that we want to elect and people are coming here because you have your free will you have you know freedom to choose and the left is really really trying to silence that and silence free speech and, and they're they're the fascist and they're you know it's like fascism is the number one trait of communism like you you silence the other party and then you eradicate them and you you only have one party they want a one party system and that's why they're just trying to take control over people and they're using the, the media the schools yeah they're using the media in the schools and everybody's already pretty much been indoctrinated at this point and people just still voting for it still voting for it and then you complain about change it's not it's, there's no such thing as white supremacy it's democrat supremacy it's crazy the same people that's voted for the democrats are the same people that's complaining about democrat policies and then they just go back and vote Democrat. It's literal insanity. It's really insane. So that's why I had to make this video.